Have you ever wondered how pilots navigate the skies? How they manage to take us from one point to another, soaring thousands of feet above the earth without losing their way? Well, wonder no more, as we're about to delve into two fundamental methods pilots use to navigate the vast sky, dead reckoning and radio navigation. First, let's talk about dead reckoning. It's a technique as old as seafaring itself adapted for the sky. Dead reckoning involves estimating one's current position based on a previously known one. It's all about direction, speed, and time. Pilots start with a known point, usually the departure airport, maintain a constant heading and airspeed, and calculate the time since the last known position. Then, using the formula distance equals speed times time, they estimate the distance covered. This calculated distance applied to their initial position gives them a new estimated location. But remember, wind can play tricks on this method and errors can accumulate over time. Now onto radio navigation, which is further divided into two types, VOR and GPS. VOR or VHF omnidirectional range is a ground-based radio navigation system. It's like a lighthouse radiating signals in all directions. On board the aircraft, the VOR receiver tunes into the frequency of the desired VOR station. Pilots then adjust their heading to align with the selected course, using the course deviation indicator to verify if they are on course or if they've deviated. GPS, on the other hand, is a satellite-based navigation system. The GPS receiver on board the aircraft receives signals from GPS satellites, and pilots program the desired route using waypoints. The navigation display then guides the pilots with real-time information about their position and track. The beauty of GPS is its accuracy and reliability, reducing the need for ground-based navigation aids. So, there you have it, the art and science of navigating the skies. Dead reckoning with its reliance on basic principles of speed, direction and time, and radio navigation, with its advanced utilization of ground and satellite-based systems. Both have their unique advantages, and combining these methods ensures a comprehensive and reliable approach to navigating the skies. And remember, whether they're using the old-school dead reckoning or the high-tech radio navigation, pilots are constantly updating their position to ensure they're on course, making adjustments as necessary to take us safely to our destination.